Right, let's test the Autel KM100 using the new AT100 transponders to see if it can clone a chip for a 2015 Toyota Yaris. Um, this uses an 8A chip. Now this chip we have already used on a ID46. So we'll read the chip and we will also check if they are overwritable. Because there's no reset option like there is on the XOR Super Chips. So, original key, just to show the car starts, which it does. And we've got a blank key, no chip. just cranks no start because there's no chip inside it so what we'll do is put the original in there and read it as you can see id 8a so we will click clone toyota 8a start never tried this so we'll see what happens there we go now it's asking us to take out Reading successful please continue okay put in the at100 press next cloning completed and that says complete so what we'll do is read the chip, see what it says. There we go. So that has overwritten the data for the ID46 that we cloned. Uh, transponder ID now ends in 5 alpha 1. So we'll take that out, just correspond that to the original. Five alpha one. So we'll take this chip, put it in the new key. So I'll just put that on there. Put that in there. And we'll see if. Perfect. Work first time. That's the new one with the AT100. And then we'll just confirm the original key still works. Which it does. So that's perfect. Cloning a 8A chip for Toyota. Uh, using the KM100 and pull that chip out of there using the AT100 transponders. Like I say, this chip was used to clone a ID46, um, so they are overwritable as well. Can't reset them like the super chip, but you can just overwrite it.